The continuing expansion of IBM Cloud for Financial Services, the introduction of the IBM Analytics Engine serverless plan, and versioning for IBM Cloud Object Storage. All on this episode of IBM Cloud Now. What's up, y'all? My name is Ian, and I am back to bring you the latest and greatest news and announcements from IBM Cloud. I want to jump right in today with a group of four exciting announcements around the IBM Cloud for Financial Services, which is continuing its rapid expansion with additional banks and ecosystem partners. First up is IBM's new agreement with Kasha Bank, one of the largest banks in Europe. IBM recently launched a new multi-zone region in Spain. Kasha Bank will be joining this MZR and embracing IBM Cloud for Financial Services for their hybrid cloud strategy moving forward. Second, Atos announced the creation of a new Financial Services Center of Excellence and further collaboration with IBM around skills, training, and services for the financial services industry. Third, Banking software company Temenos announced the availability of Temenos Transact with Red Hat OpenShift on IBM Cloud. And fourth, Zaffin, a leading cloud-native product and pricing platform for financial institutions, will onboard to the cloud for financial services. It's exciting times for the IBM Cloud for Financial Services and the new partners joining the expansive ecosystem. So click the link in the description of this video to learn more. Next up, I'm thrilled to announce the availability of the new IBM Analytics Engine serverless plan. IBM Analytics Engine provides Hadoop and Spark environments that optimize the scaling of compute and storage by separating the two. The new serverless plan takes this optimization a step forward by offering a way for you to get almost 100% utilization with Spark instances. It's common today to see cluster utilization for Spark users range from 20 to 60% leaving a ton of compute resources on the table. This new serverless plan offers a consumption-based usage model, so you only pay for the compute resources you consume and only consume what you need. Simply put, the Analytics Engine serverless plan helps make Spark easier to consume, and the new plan's per-second billing helps you control costs. To learn more, hit the link below. To finish things off, let's take a look at the new versioning feature on IBM Cloud Object Storage that aims to protect your data against accidental deletion or overwrites. When versioning is enabled on a Cloud Object Storage bucket, multiple versions of an object are automatically saved. This means that you can easily recover data from unintended user actions or application failures. You can enable versioning at the bucket level for any storage class. And versioning can also be suspended at any time to stop creating new versions of objects in the bucket. You can access this new versioning feature on Cloud Object Storage buckets by using the IBM Cloud Console, the REST API, or the SDK. To learn more about how to get started, hit the link below. Thanks so much for joining me today for this episode of IBM Cloud Now. If you're interested in learning more about the topics I've covered, make sure you explore the links in the description of this video. And again, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on what's going on in the cloud now.